most of us will remember what it felt like to feel the heartbeat of our newborn baby for the very, very first time. I know I did on two occasions and, well, <laughs> it's indescribable, isn't it? Just indescribable. But for Julie, that moment was extremely different because her husband, who was sitting by her side, was dying of cancer. Previously, he was a healthy and happy and fit father of three girls, so it was, it was a diagnosis that the couple who, who hated to be apart from each other had just never expected or prepared for. Although the initial treatment went extremely well, in the end, Dee was told that the illness was actually incurable and he had a maximum of 18 months left to live. Undefeated, the pair wasted absolutely no time in organising their wedding. And then almost immediately, they started trying for a baby, not really knowing if Dee would ever actually live long enough to meet the child. He was eventually admitted to St Francis Hospice. And like many others, Dee assumed that because he was now in a hospice, that he'd never come out again, which is completely not true in many, many cases. Every time Dee returned, he had one message for the nurses, and it was this. Just keep me alive long enough to meet the baby. Well, I am delighted to tell you, in fact, I think you were kind of expecting this news, weren't you, that uh, B was there. He actually was there to see the baby born, to feel that heartbeat. Can you imagine what that moment was like for him? And it was, as they expected, a beautiful little girl, Sophia Grace. Well, Dee managed to enjoy the first three and a half months of his little girl's life. The hospice nurses continued to visit him at home, ensuring that he was well enough to stay at home for as long and as often as possible. And Dee was able to feed and change and hold his darling, darling baby girl really close. Dee died at St Francis Hospice with, of course, Julie by his side. Like every other stage, she'd remain there with him day and night. As things turned out, Dee outlived his prognosis of 18 months by an extra four months, and Julie is completely convinced that it was the hospice that's the reason why. So why am I sharing all this with you today? Because it wasn't just the hospice that transformed Dee's life. It wasn't just the hospice that gave him another four months to live, allowing him to fall in love with his newborn daughter. It was you, our supporters, because without you, we wouldn't have been there to help at all. And we'd like to continue sharing stories like Dee and Julie's with you long into the future, because as a loyal supporter, we want you to really understand and know right in here what a big difference you're making to real people who are living in your community. As a loyal supporter, we want to be able to ask you for your help when we need it. Because without you, we can't make stories like this happen. Under new data protection regulations, we now need your permission for us to contact you. So after watching this video, would you please tick for your local hospice? You can tell us exactly how you would like us to keep in touch with you, but the most important thing is that we can. So help us to continue to add life to days, just like we did for Dee. All it takes is a tick. <laughs>